Hey guys, uh, today I'll be showing you how to make a um, craft bucket server. I know it's a little late, but it's better late than never. So, yeah. So, um, I'll be splitting up this video into two parts. One, how to make it from scratch, and the other one with the pre-made folder uh, that I made for you guys to download. So, uh, it's up to you what you guys want to download, what you want to do. So, yeah. So, I'll be back. Ah, I see you've chosen to start from scratch. Smart choice. You'll you'll learn more with, by doing this, and also you might learn how to do a Minecraft server or remember how to make it. Well, let's get started. Um, so put these links in the description below. But just click on this one. Uh, it's the h or dl dot org slash downloads. Yeah. Just copy it, or you don't have to copy it, just click on it. And then it's going to take you to a page that looks like this. And so once you're on this page, um, just click on the newest one right here. It's always going to change, like every day or so. So yeah, just click on the numbers and it's going to take you to something like this. And just download Craft Bucket. And okay, while that downloads, uh, we need to we're gonna go get the code. So right here, just go to that website. It's gonna look something like this. Okay, and then just copy this. And it's still downloading, so we can go ahead and make the other thing. So once you have that, open up text edit. Since I already have one, I need to open a new one. Let me just close this one. So paste your code here. And you see this where it says Minecraft underscore server? Delete that. Type in craft bucket. It's important that you do craftbucket.jar. So, yeah. And then right here, the 1G. It says 1G, that's how much RAM you want to run on your server. So you can just change it to 2G, 3G, 4G if you have uh, enough RAM. But it's better to never exceed or meet your RAM, or else that, that would be bad for your computer. So yeah, let's look at the progress. Oh, okay. It's all right. All right. So once you're done with all this, just go to format, make plain text, okay. And you can just save this, not to iCloud, to your desktop. Just call it start bot command, or you can call it whatever you want, but it has to have dot command at the end. So and just click save. So once it once it's on your desktop, just create a new folder. Call it whatever you want. I'll call it craft bucket. Okay, and then just drag this in here. Open it up, and then we need to wait for this download. So, um, so yeah, I'll be waiting. So once it's been downloaded, just drag this out here to the folder, and you see it says craft bucket dash 1.3.1 dash r1.1 dash 20 and then dot 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 8 dash 13. So 
you're gonna want to delete that and just leave it as craft oops 60 just leave it as craft bucket dot jar so well yeah so once you have that go to your spotlight type in terminal then type this in ch mod in the space a plus x space and drag in your start dot command hit enter you can close that and then go to the start dot command double click it it's gonna make files for you and so then you can just wait for this to load if you have a world already you can just drag it in here so yeah but if you don't, you just wait for this to load, and then once it's done, we're gonna type in stop. So I'm gonna let this load. Okay, so now that it's done, just type in stop. You can stop the server, save everything. Then we can go ahead and close this. Um, so you can go over here to the ops.tags and just repeat yourself. And then go here to the server and dot property. If you want to just add dot txt. It's a lot easier than right clicking and then open with text edit. Automatically makes it text edit. And then here where it says server IP, you just type in your IP. So I'm gonna do that. So, okay. So then just go through this and make sure to do whatever you want. So like PvP, you can turn it off or leave it on hardcore, all that stuff. So yeah, I'll just leave it like that. I'll save it. And then for the plugins I think I'll make another video since I won't I probably won't be able to fit it all in one video. And yeah, just click your start dot command. Then open up Minecraft. Let's wait for it to load. There we go. Okay, and then we just head on over to multiplayer. And I already had mine right here, but I'll show you guys how to make, how to add one. So I'll just go over here to add server, and just type in the server address. Oops. And then just click done, and just double click on it. I have two servers running on the same IP. One's a regular Minecraft server and the other one's the bucket that we just made. So, and so it worked. Let's see? So, yeah. It's how to make it from scratch. Ah, I see. You've chosen the pre made folder. Good choice. You're gonna spend less time doing this. So, once you click on the link, it's gonna take you to uh, Mediafire. So, like this. And then wait it, wait till it loads. Then just download it. So if your connection is fast, this is probably going to be like less than a minute or so, but my internet's been having problems this week, also the past week, so yeah. But yeah, it should be something like that, sort of like seconds, depending.
Okay, so once it's done, just drag it out to your desktop, close Safari, and just open this up. So as you can see, files are already here and everything. So yeah, if you're wondering what this craft bucket dot command is, um, don't worry, you're gonna just change the craft bucket to start dot command. But since I have two servers, the craft bucket and a regular server, I need to change the names from them. So yeah. So if you don't want this stuff, you can just delete it and keep the craft bucket and the craft bucket dot command. And so you to give it permission, you just go to spotlight, type in terminal. Type in th mod space a plus x space and drag this onto there. Do that. And so then it's ready. So then before you do this, go to the ops, just type in your username. And then you're going to be op. Also, Go to server.properties. Uh, I think there's a much faster way. I don't know if you guys know about this, but at the end of the S, just add txt. Turns it into text edit. It's a lot quicker than right clicking open with and then text edit. It won't be here, so you're going to have to go to other and then look for text edit and then always open with. So this is a lot quicker than the other one. So, yeah, if you don't like this world, you can just drag in your world whatever and then throw this in the trash and then just run the start dot craft bucket dot command or start dot command whatever you decide to call it so we'll just click on this and then ok so as you can see it's going to generate everything and then for you guys since you want uh, if you decide to keep the world it's just going to start up right away but if you don't you want another one uh, it's going to take time, and if you don't like the current world that you have, you can just throw it in the trash and do the craft bucket dot command or start dot command, whatever you decide to call it again. And it's going to generate a new one for you. But once it's done, just click stop, and that way it's going to save it for you. So, and go back here, click it again. Uh, now, this time we're going to actually test it. Okay, and just log in. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> okay, and so uh, as you can see, this one's off. This one's on. This is the craft bucket, and this is the normal Minecraft server. So yeah. So if you want to add, let me just delete this really quick. To add a server, just go to add server, and then just type in the IP 192.168. So that won't be yours, but yeah, just type in your IP. And then you can just join. So, yeah. Okay, so that's it. Um, and I th think I did forget to mention this, but um, in the server, about properties, right here. I put a thing that says server IP and I put something to catch your eye. So it says your IP goes here. So, so just do that, type in your IP. So I'll type mine in. Oh, whoops. So yeah. And then you can just save it or you can also change other stuff like PvP. So player versus player, if you don't want that, just turn it off. Um, animals, monsters, like flight. So I want to enable flight. So just do to enable it. Just do true. Whoops, that wasn't supposed to happen. Uh, just do true. So then you can save it. But you, um, for this to work, you gonna need uh too many items. So yeah, or also single player commands. But since this isn't single player, you have multiplayer commands. So yeah, just save it in. There's one more thing, and I can't remember it. But oh, okay, yeah, I I remember. So for me, it just it was just like this. But for you guys, 
is going to be highlighted in blue. So, so it can also catch your attention. So yeah, uh, I'll make a video on plugins and the link to this video somewhere on this screen and also how to have your friends join with Hamachi Report Forward. So yeah, well, thanks for watching.